next with Tina Pisnik. He should. She makes every ball, and uh, congratulations one, to her. Eight. Was in the zero, zero, premiere, two. drafted uh, this week. All right, let's play pickleball. Point. And uh, probably one of the slower drives you're going to see from Deckel yeah. Bar on the two-handed backhand two. side, but Catherine not able to come up with the first volley. Oh, come Boy. on, Big D. That's it. Well, well, he was a little fortunate, <laughs> but we'll, we'll just uh, say that's a benefit of his aggressive forward movement. There. And his God-given height. <laughs> yeah, that's the thunder punch from the chest for Deckel Bar. And even when the amazing forehand of Jack Sock goes to that spot. I expect Deckel to win that battle. 3-0-2. Point. Wow, four in a row, and this isn't even the Deckel bar serve where that will cause you trouble. 4-0-2. wanted to let it go. He's not very good at letting it go. <laughs> he is very good at a lot of things on the pickleball, but letting the ball go out is not one of them. <laughs> let it go. Whoops. <laughs> Either way, Zero, great start. Four, one. Second just, serve. Just like, be like Tina. Yeah, just casual. Just, ah, no, that's going to be Zero, two four, inches two. out. I know it is. We've had a lot of quick hitting Side points out. early, uh, but once we do get a handful of points at the kitchen line, the ladies picking Four, their spots zero, to go behind one. the fellas is going to be huge because both of them take a lot of court. Pretty, a great ATP defense in the middle of that from Catherine, but I'm pretty sure the fun meter is low right now. Uh-huh, it is, and let's get that meter cranked up a little bit, Five, Dave. Zero, one. Point. Well, I, yeah, I talked about a, the first point, a two-handed drive hit at medium pace. That one was blistered about one inch over the net from Deckel Bar. Six, zero, one. Second serve. And you can see here comes the wind. Uh, it'll just get a little more each hour Six, that we zero, play. Two. So the gender doubles will be even more affected. No. Point. And I don't uh, mind that combination at all from Jack Sock, as Tina Biznik was a couple feet off the kitchen line. He's just trying Seven, to start zero, the fire. Two. But she was able to hit a pretty solid counter from that position. In a row. I think he heard me. He said, uh, he, I, I'm not, yeah. Deckel's not good at leaving Eight, the zero, ball. Two. He said, take that, Adam. Yeah. Side out. A similar pattern to a couple points ago. This time, not as clean on the counter for Tina Pisnik. Zero, eight, one. Second serve. Uh, rare power shot from the midcourt from Catherine Parento. And when you have the big fella Deckel yeah. Bar standing at the kitchen line right in front of you, really need to go soft there as he's going to make you pay, and he does. Zero, eight, two. Side out. Nice. I mean, he's in the middle of the court, Dave. No, he's not. He's he, earning. He, he's, he, he's, <laughs> he takes one shuffle step and jumps the corner. Eight, Unreal zero, athleticism one. from Deckel. And nice control on the Ernie shot, too. Second serve. There you go. Nice job at Catherine bodying up the big man. Eight, There's zero, more two. of them. Hit him. <laughs> yes. That 
is, I know the ball didn't come over, but phenomenal. Inception of tennis. Many of the people that started the tennis channel are Time part of in. starting pickleball, and they know what worked and what tweaks they need to make. So we're thrilled to be a part of that. Side out. There's a good first volley from Jack Sock and follows it up with another quality forehand. Zero, nine, They're going to need more of the same. Second serve. Yeah, nice step over there from Deckel Bar after a quality first volley Zero, nine, from Tina. Point. Yes. No, I'm just not sure what that was. Yeah, I can't get him. I don't know, I'm sure, quite sure where he was going with that, but One, nine, two. on the board, fans love it. That's pretty there. The prior jump was confusing. That's using that Ernie to find an angle. That was awesome. Yeah, very sharp angle from that position from Deckel Bar. <laughs> oh, Tina Pisnik, come on. Oh, no. Deckel, why are you hitting a left-handed volley after all the work Tina did? Don't do it. What a dig from Tina Pizik. I had to bite my tongue. I was about to start Nine, talking one, about Jack Sock's shot. CP says, no, 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 yeah, Deckel. No. You're just trying to start a hands battle. I'm not going to let it get too extended with a great initial counter. One, nine, one. Second serve. Man, he's got the protractor out. That's impressive again with the angle because yeah. Jack covers court like nobody. Some pretty one, nine, heavy. Two. Uh, backhand shots and, of course, the angles, as you mentioned. Side out. And burnt me very much there. Kind of a, just a jump in front, more of a poach than a burnt, but that's great recognition, though, Adam. He's mm -hmm. playing phenomenal Nine, as one, Big one. D. He is going with one-handed backhand flicks Point. now? Everything. So, and, and it's really Point. nice for him to have a partner like Tina Pizik that's so comfortable a couple feet off the kitchen to Ten give him one. free reign to do his thing. Game point. Wow. And Point. that'll Game do it. 11. Tina Pizik and Deckel Bar. Putting on a show, 60% winning percentage. They would like that to be a lot higher, higher, but right now they have much bigger concerns on their New hands. Ball. The team on the other side is Game playing two. unbelievable. Time in. Zero, zero, two. Point. No way. That's right. the only way Tanda's not going to get the ball back. <laughs> that's, that's right. Clip off the tape One, right zero, in the armpit. Two. No shot. And they have more points <laughs> than they yeah. got in two, game zero, one two. right oh, off the bat. Sorry about that one, Tina, but the, the, t the truck loves those shots. Man, the, the anticipation of Sock. Yeah, I know. And I mean, a lot of players who are, who are quality earners. There's 10% of the court you can't go to. For Deckel, it's like 40% yeah. of the court. No. Point. 
Adam, they're getting to the kitchen almost every time, too, when they're serving. Yeah, I know. And uh, some quick points with the drive, but Deckel's doing a nice job of uh, that one, first two, drive one. doesn't work to drop it and get forward. And, of course, Tina, one of the better Second parts serve. of her game is getting forward yeah. and quality play, soft stuff from the back of the one, court two, and the midcourt. Just Point. Tina Pisnik moving that ball around from three feet behind the kitchen? Yeah, complete control of what she's doing. And <laughs> guys, the stuff that she's doing comes in the middle and later parts of your career. She's early on two, and she's two, had two. the decision making and the soft touch from day one. Point. So hot start for Sock and CP is gone. They three, trail two, now. Two. Does catch, and I mean I hate to say it, but uh, several or the points they've won early in game two have been fortunate. Two, so, three, uh, one. Oh my! Second, Big D throws his whole body to the left and flicks it inside out down the line. Adam two, three, two. That was that was slippery, Deckel. Just not sharp either. So you have a team playing at the top of their powers in Barr and Pisnik and Jack and Catherine Three, two, aiding one. the cause a bit. And it's T serve Friday here. We have seen it all day long. Yeah. What's the benefit of that? Yeah, playing to the middle of the court Four, can two, be a, a, a really nice option. I'll elaborate after this point. Yeah, so uh, going going with the T serve uh, just doesn't pull you out wide, and you can target a certain two, wing two. on a certain an opponent. And I think playing to the middle of the court is just a, a safer location. Incredible athleticism for Deckel oh, yes. and you probably get a bit more benefit in the game of singles, but clearly you can use it in doubles as well. Man, I mean, that's like got to be seven or eight on yeah. the Ernie count for Deckel, and I think only Five, one two, was, two. was poor. Still playing. The rally of the day goes to Jack Sock and Catherine Parento. <laughs> Trading blow after blow from each side. That was tremendous. What a great scramble and what a questionable decision at the end of it from Deckel Barr. Two, five, one. Second serve. And the, the hands right now of Deckel Bar and Tina Pisnik, they're handling the drive, they're handling two, five, speed ups two. from the kitchen, and don't even seem to be in awkward positions at all. Point. Three, five, two. That 
That's a great combination from Deckel Barr. And he knows he's playing Catherine Parento, and that's going to come back, and he is ready for the next ball after the ATP. Look at him go immediately back across the court. That is smart pickleball right there. I mean, he was in such good position. He didn't even hit a forehand. He hit a backhand on the second shot. That's a nice inside-out <laughs> wow. forehand from Sock and a little too much slice backspin on that ATP attempt from Deckel Bars that sails long. Five, three, two. Point. Yeah, I think Catherine Parento trying to get her to her spot. Six, three, Up two. at the front right side of the court cost her a return error. Watch. Watch. I believe that caught the kitchen line and threw off Catherine's rhythm. The official ball of the PPA Tour. Deckel Barr is doing everything. I'm not sure who's playing better between yeah. the two right now. Time For sure. Seven, three, two. Great finish there Time by out. Jack Sock. And just a little gallop around the corner of the kitchen, and any player when they're in mid-air to create pace like that is well done. And Thomas Wilson to have that particular shot down to a tee. Second serve. I mean, he just he just got forward so quickly, and the ability to take that ball out of Three, the air seven, and jamming two. up Catherine. Point. Yeah, that's a it, it, the slice return short. Uh, that that's a tough Four, spot, seven, especially two. when Piznik is returning from the left and trying to get to the right. Wow, another one of those. This time, Piznik gets out of the way, but that doesn't help the scoreboard. No, it doesn't. That's been Catherine and, and Jack's best source of offense throughout Five, game seven, two. two. And now there's pressure on the return, and looky here. We're talking about how well Piznik and Barr are playing. Timeout Their receivers. lead is just Six, seven, one two. single. I'm playing against the team that's playing at the level we've talked about with Piznik and Barr. Shorter heavy, return. Heavy drive. Yeah, so if you can't unwind the stack, you get into weird positions, and Jack is rolling. Yeah, and smacking that last ball down in the dirt. Great put away from Jack. What a point. Oh, man. Such a good scramble and completely fooling Deckel Bar going to the backside. What a fear hand from Mr. Sock. Time in. 972. Wow. 
And they don't unwind the stack, and Sock comes flying over with a winner, and we are at game Ten point. 10-7-2. Oh, man, they Fire. wanted to walk that off right there. But what a rampage. So they get all the way to a game Seven, point. Ten, now one. what's the response on the other side? Left-handed overhead. Sock is on the prowl right now. Oh, and then he hits it deep. Two incredible lobs. I, I can't believe that second one. I, I broke my professionalism and did a little chuckle here on the mic. But man, he is. Uh, he's got some new life. Dinks middle and then fires through the middle. Yeah, just whips through the zone. Deckel just taking a swipe at it, hoping, and prayer's not answered. Using that cell, Kirk Lux paddle. So sorry. Side out. So sorry, says Jack. <laughs> <Threw in> the... <laughs> Apologizes to the crowd as well. <laughs> Game point. Way too high on the first drive from Jack. Game point number Game three. Point. Ten, eight, two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did try. Jack thought it Side kissed out. off Deckel's paddle. Deckel said, I tried, I just couldn't reach it. <laughs> and if that man can't reach oh. it, nobody can. Uh -uh. What a shot from Catherine Parento. This level keeps going up. Yeah, and I think she plays women's doubles with Anna Lee as she steps over to hit a backhand. Jack just a little too ambitious. <laughs> Couldn't help himself. Nine, ten, two. He just <laughs> was frozen like a statue. Yeah, he just, he got down low. <laughs> <laughs> and we are tied at 10. Oh, my. oh Pizzik can't quite come up with it, so. Impressive getting this thing tied back up. They saved three game points. Timeout, Did Piznik and called that offensive timeout so Jack could catch his breath from all the talking he's been doing <laughs> to the crowd. Ten, ten, two. Yeah, and you got to pick your poison. If you return to Jack, you got to deal with the forehand. If you return to Catherine, you got to deal with Jack flying at you. So it's. That's why this Game team point. is so dangerous. 11, 10, Game point four. Yeah. And that will yeah. do it. So if you wanted more pickleball, well, guess what? You got it. What a game number two. From the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal, a new court beckons, a new challenge arises. 
Jack Sock is conquered tennis. Now, pickleball's next. Mastery, precision, passion. That's what champions are made of. And when it comes to pickleball, there's only one company they turn to. Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport. We are pickleball. No idea what's about to happen in game three, game but I know three, one thing. It's going to be entertaining. Zero, zero, two. I mean, Tina Pisnik is insane with getting the ball back. I mean, it, it is wild. Can't be in One, a worse zero, position zero. there. No. She knew right when she hit yeah, it. It was it trouble. Didn't have enough juice. Zero one one. No. Second he, serve. He, Deckel listened. He <laughs> listened that time. I mean, Tina had to absolutely hit about a hundred decibels to make him get that paddle out of the way. It's a lot easier to let it go Zero when they're one in the two. back of the court than kitchen to kitchen. And here they are again on odd and Tina playing the left. So when she's returning, they're sort of doing what we call one, a half one, stack two. there. Deckel will move here. Yeah. And that's a couple times Catherine has absolutely tagged the big man with the two handed backhand counter and then poke. Well, you got to be careful as the fella. Sometimes you just want to start the fire to get into a firefight. Two, one, Sometimes two. you get tagged in the hip when you don't commit fully to that speed up. And Pisnik is having trouble with the forehand volley. Time out. Oh. I'm. Oh, oh okay. Nope. Uh, no. No. Audible on the timeout. Nope. Three, one, two. Wow, Tina Pisnik just stared him down and hung in there. And a big yeah, Tina from Deckel Bar, letting her know she, he is thrilled with the hands. Kitchen sink cam, love it from the crew in the truck. Here he goes again with these pinpoint lobs and Pisnik. Oh no. <laughs> wow. This is chaos. <laughs> One, three, two. Side out. Bad luck off the tape there. Yeah, I think it's right on the line on that last forehand from Jack, but man. Just so much, so much pep in the step and just very different yes. uh, than the beginning yes. and the heart of game two. It has been a complete Three, one, 180 one. for this squad. That's why one. maybe they just needed to see like, what is it when we slam the accelerator down that we need to be doing one, one, and what's one. the energy level and boy, they are on it now. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's happens a lot with the score line you're just like all right we're getting killed let's just let it fly yep. and just almost be sloppy with what what we're doing and see if that works so now they're in a much different situation with a pretty solid lead here in game three and yeah, another chance with on the odd Oh, that was big. Deckel will, Deckel will randomly throw one of those in there but here's also the key to that statement we just made Dave they got this lead from that frivolous aggression. Now that they have the lead, don't back off. Yeah. Keep going with it. It is what has earned you One the right to one. have this lead. Stick with it and see if you can get to the finish line. No, no, no. Yeah, but you're supposed to play by the book to close out a match, Adam. No, no, no. no Dave, the Tear up the book. The Two ebbs four, and one. flows of a pickleball match, there is plenty of them. 
Let's go! Second set! <laughs> <laughs> that was an absolute response to Duckle's yell. Two, four, that is two. terrific from Sock. Okay, <laughs> and see that's, Duckle did not really want to poke the bear, but he has. Yes, and definitely the audible level high for Jack Sock, but he couldn't one. even fully commit to those. No. There was a little smile at the end. Second set. Uh, that was gonna be big trouble. Oh, Duckle says something else. This is fun, chirpy. Four, two, two. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Deckel hits hard. Yeah, he does. Catherine got as low as she could, and it <laughs> actually bounced over, over and around her paddle. Two, four, one. kitchen line and just ropes of forehand unbelievable yeah inside and obviously completely handcuffing tina pisling didn't think it was going to go to that spot yeah! all right tackle bar what a get on the first volley yeah and plenty of pop on the one-handed backhand without having any form of balance Three, as he four, was two kind of trying not to fall into the kitchen there. And Deckel Barr is on four. a mission, and we are tied up at four. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty worried about this match, and it has lived up to the billing after game one. Four, four, two. So the 4 1 lead is gone. Inside out, Dink is not able to clear the net, and suddenly it's Piznik and Barr who can switch ends with the lead. Five, four, two. No. Tina Piznik, will you stop it? This is unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Possibly a little breeze. Yeah, I saw a gust in there. Yeah, but she did. That ball was not where she was hoping it was going to go to. Man, and this is a seesaw affair back and Four, forth five, between one. these two teams. Yikes. Yeah, that's <laughs> clearly overextended from Deckel Bar. He had stepped over a couple times in front of Tina and went with that short hop dink cross court, this time trying to speed up on the backside of Jack Sock. Very high degree of difficulty there. Second serve. Air mailed on the second one there. Good job by Piznik, because when you know you're sprinting across court and going to stare down a Jack Sock forehand, that is not fun. Yeah, not an enviable enviable position. Yeah. Oh my, and it slithers yeah. off the Two. tape. And first. Tough match Five from eight. the analyst chair because Six I have five. no idea what's going <laughs> on out here, Dave. <laughs> Oh, Jack says that's it before it even lands. <laughs> it hadn't even crossed his side of the net yet, and he liked what he saw. Guy that loves to golf, that's when you know you hit one pure. Seven, five, two. No, no, challenge, challenge, wait. Okay, okay, so Jack calls it wide, and Deckel says challenge, challenge, challenge. challenge. 
way oh, in to go it. to the end of that. And maybe, maybe a couple minute. other things as well, we'll as he was as adamant as you will see. The call is overturned. The ball was in. We resume play at 571. Two timeouts, two timeouts. That's the other big factor here. If this gets dicey or goes to 12, 11, you know, you, you need a timeout Time at the end. So they get Seven, to keep five, the timeout one. and just as important, get the ball back. That's not yeah. <laughs> okay, now Jack is fully engaged. That's not gonna work in the finger wag. Tough spot for Catherine there. Six, seven, two. I, I just wonder if we asked Echo Barr if he wishes maybe he didn't, <laughs> he didn't yell that just one time. The one scream, because this was a not, this was a pretty quiet court. Seven, and now it one. has erupted. Second set. Great volley there from Deckel. Here's, here's what started this. This was the starter's gun. <laughs> oh, went with the little pump fake and got the ball and missed it. Oh, he baited him into that and got Deckel to hit right at him, but be careful what you ask for. Six, seven, one. So they're stuck on seven again. Swinging away, and Deckel finally got the ball to go down, and we are knotted at seven. Back and forth, back and forehand, back seven, and seven, forehand. One. Good exchange. Oh no, those are the scariest ones. The friendly fire off your partner's paddle. Wow. It's a bit of second guessing himself. And this has all been on a one. Not again. Second set. <laughs> how, many, how many wags? Uh, there's a lot of them, but uh, the scoreboard is not in his favor Eight, currently. Seven, two. Oh, dear. Side out. It's surprising he didn't make Catherine have to hit a ball on a run on a short return like that. Tried to overthought it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, he's he's for sure gonna protect her and step over, and he stayed home. Jack, meaning. rally in some time and we are tied up in game three who is going to come up with the shot that eight, makes eight, the eight, difference one. oh no yeah that's a wild tough miss. miss on the return yeah so that that forehand several feet wide and now the backhand return Nine, hate eight, to see one. it Catherine couldn't get it away from Big D there. Nine eight two. Wow, just caught. Yeah. 
Unbelievable Sorry. Tina Pisnik again. Nah, I, I get why he hasn't gone at her so much. It's another example. I mean, there's plenty of people that are just gonna wither in that situation with Jack attacking their body with the forehand, not Tina Pisnik. got into a very good position there. Catherine hangs in there. Eight, nine, two. Wow, well, fall away, top spin lock. Sweet little baby sock with Tiny Laura. Nine, and Laura two. is to the right there, just to be clear. It's Laura's sister with the baby. Okay, so they get the stop out of the timeout. Yeah, I, I expect Sock to go crazy. Just, nine, just nine, let nine. it fly from any position right now. No, no. Oh. So good. Tina Pisnik fills in the gap and then hits the winner. Yep. Such a clean, crisp forehand volley right to the middle nine, of the court. Nine, two. Just a little too much spin wide, and we are at match point for Catherine and Jack. 10 9 2. Unbelievable it is Deckel Barr who cuts one off. And just the nerves and the tension <laughs> here is remarkable on a point like that. I'm sweating a bit, Dave. Match point saved. Catherine fires away and Deckel is all over it and we wanted a game three. We're now going to take more than 11 to win it. 10, ten, ten apiece. One. And that one misses Tina Pisnik again. Match point now goes to the other side of the court. Match point, 11, 10, one. Absolute thriller, 12-10 in the third. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. Training rigorously and pushing boundaries. Ah! The next level isn't just hand, it's earned. Go next level, the 6-0 pickleball. Well, guys, you start out guns blazing, 11-1. You were carrying it well into game two, and then an incredibly close games two and three. What switched and what changed? Well, they hit a few luck courts. I was about to pull Colin there, throwing a hat. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, you guys wanted a show, we gave you a show.
That's right. We certainly all appreciate it out here. Good crowd in attendance. But I want to talk about that partnership. I don't think the seed really shows quite how dangerous Sock and Parento are. What do you need to do well against them? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Jack is super dangerous. Got a lot of uh, a lot of firepower. Catherine's super solid, and you know, got the deception of her own. Uh, we got to play smart, play the right spots, aggressive ourselves when we need to. And uh, yeah, no, I'm glad we pulled it out. Uh, we started really well, second game as well. Uh, then it got really close. <laughs> well, just glad we, you know, pulled it out. Oh. Friendly fire from Ben over here warming up. I want to talk about you because you started out as a pro tennis player, then you became an Olympian, then a tennis coach, now a pro pickleball player. Now you're headed to the semifinals. What's your life been like in that trajectory? A little crazy, but uh, lots of fun back traveling. Uh, still teaching a little bit, but um, I just enjoy competing again and uh, having matches like this is just next level.